Hey guys, welcome to this quick start guide on estimating interior painting, um, where we're going to show you how to estimate a bedroom for painting. Uh, jumping right in here, uh, if, if this green box is our bedroom, um, the first thing we're going to need to do, we're going to need to do is grab dimensions for the room, so the length and the width of the room. And to do that, you can use a measuring tape, but um, the fastest way is by using a laser measure, something that looks like this. Uh, which you can buy at Home Depot for 25 bucks. So going back to this room, if we uh, shoot the laser, we get our dimensions. Uh, in this case, it's a 10 by 10 room. Um, those are our dimensions. That's all we need, length and width. Um, just to give you an idea, this is what an actual 10 by 10 room would look like. As you can see, it's a little bit on the smaller side, but we're favoring uh, the 10 by 10 setup here because it's We've got really nice round numbers, and it's going to make for really easy math for us. So once we have our length and our width, we're going to multiply those two to get our uh, square feet, so our square footage of the room, which in this case is going to be 100. Now we're going to break our price down on a couple of different uh, in a couple of different areas. We're going to give them a price for the walls. We're going to we're going to kick out a price for the ceiling, and we're going to get a price for the trim. You don't necessarily have to give your customer all three of these prices. I mean, if you're doing a bunch of rooms, it wouldn't necessarily make sense to show them the price for all three of these. But this is just more for you and, and your knowledge of how you're going to you're gonna bid the job. So um, to get your wall price, you just take the square, square footage and multiply that by two. To get the ceiling price, you just take the square footage on its own. And, and uh, the same thing for the trim, just square footage on its own. So that gives us these numbers. So for the walls, about 200 bucks. For the ceiling, about 100 bucks. And for the trim, about 100 bucks. And this is for labor. So um, again, this doesn't include your 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 paint in here uh, as of yet. So again, we're using a really simple formula that's going to give you a really quick answer. It's not it's not you know 10,000 percent accurate, but it's going to give you the quickest possible answer. And it's going to be probably within about 10 percent of what you would get using a, a more calculated formula. So if we were to check, uh, just check the price and see kind of what it's looking like for us, we could do that by um, taking that price for, for the walls, just as an example, of uh, $200, dividing that by the amount that, that we're looking to make per hour, which is $35 an hour, which would give us just under six hours to do the, to do the job. And this is kind of what we're factoring in as a $35 an hour charge rate. So if I were to go back and look at the, the pictures in these rooms, and I were to just say to myself, can I get this room done in six hours? Can I, can I paint the walls in six hours? Because that's what we're looking at right now. And my answer to that would be absolutely. There's no question in my mind that I could paint this room in six hours. Okay. And before we move on, you can go back and you can check this um, with the trim price and with the, the ceiling price as well, just to make sure. So now we've got our labor price. Now we need to talk about our paint cost. So in a 10 by 10 room, we have just a couple rules of thumb. Um, you're going to use about two gallons of paint for the walls, a gallon for the ceiling, and a gallon for the trim. Um, now you won't use exactly two gallons. You're going to use under that, but you're going to need to buy a couple gallons um, to actually, you know, get the job done because they only sell paint in gallons. I mean, unless you want to buy a quart, but realistically, your quart your quart price is going to be pretty close to your to your gallon price. Um, so just buying gallons is what I would recommend. Um, now, if we total these up, uh, so two, one, and one, we're going to get four gallons total for the room, and we're going to multiply that by our per gallon price, which is going to be right around twenty five bucks. Um, if you're using just a standard um, product like Super Paint, uh, Promar 200 um, from Sherwin Williams, or if you're using a comparable uh, product from uh, from Benjamin Moore or, or PPG, so that's going to give us give us a hundred dollar paint cost. And so if we add these up, uh, that's going to be 400 bucks that the customer is going to pay in labor, 100 bucks that the customer is going to pay in paint, which uh, adds up to a total cost to the customer. Of 500 bucks, which is definitely reasonable for um, a 10 by 10 room. If you guys like this video, let us know what you want to see next in the comments below, whether that's more advanced estimating tips or marketing or sales or whatever that is. Let us know 
what that is. Uh, we'll see you next time.